Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips and today we're going to be talking about compressing the golf ball and I'm going to give you the tips that are necessary to better understand what compressing the golf ball is and how we can do it better in our game. Let's start off by quickly addressing what compressing the golf ball is because it's one of those terms that you may have heard a bunch. Uh, if you watch PGA Tour broadcasts, for instance, they say it often, but what does it really mean? Now, in terms of compressing the ball, the focus is generally on irons. Here I just have a four iron and because irons are, have a little bit of loft to them we don't need to pick the ball up if this is a ball sitting on the ground we do not need to scoop at the ball and hit the ball up what we actually want to do is make downward contact on the ball in the center of the face and then that compression of the golf ball is going to actually turn the ball with some backspin on it and then that backspin is what creates the loft as well as the loft of the club. So simply put, hitting downward on the ball and making a good strike in the center of the club face is what is called the compression of the golf ball. Now let's talk about how we can compress the ball effectively. It starts off in your ball positioning. Before you even start the swing, compression is very heavily affected by where that ball is in our stance. If you're hitting a standard iron, say a seven iron, and you have that ball way in front of your stance towards your, for the right-handed golfer, towards your left foot, then you're making it very difficult to make downward compression to the ball because it's already so far up. In order to make downward compression to the ball, you'd have to naturally shift your weight to the other side, which we do not want to be doing. So having that ball a little bit further back in the stance, especially for wedges, wedges, you should have a fairly narrow stance and that ball should be in the center, maybe even a little bit back of center in the stance if you want to put yourself in the best position to compress the golf ball. Another thing that we can do at address, which is very helpful, is have a little bit of forward shaft lean. So if you have a club at address that is standard uh, and, and neutral in its shaft lean, bringing it a little bit forward so that you're de-lofting the club will also promote that downward angle and that is also going to give you more compression. It is important to note that the more that you lean that shaft forward, the more you're de-lofting the club, the, the lower that your ball flight is going to be. So uh, you've probably seen the stinger shot, these low knockdown shots. A big way that we can promote that lower trajectory is by having that forward shaft lean. So if you wanna hit the ball nice and high, you know you have a nine iron, you need to get over a tree or something, then having a ton of forward shaft lean is not worth it because you need that loft. So you have to balance both ends of it. Now let's talk about impact. Let's talk about covering the ball. This is something that I like to feel personally, like my chest and my, the, my sternum is on top of the ball and I feel the, an upper body movement. It's not necessarily this horizontal sway that I've talked about how, how much of a detriment that can be to your swing, but feeling like you're over the ball uh, having uh, good posture, obviously, and bending at the hips, not at the back where you're hunched over, but feeling like that sternum is on top of the ball can allow you to feel like you're covering the ball more and covering the ball, getting that, that swing feel through transition is also going to help very much with compression. Now I can tell you tips all day, but it's also very helpful to have drills that you can use on the range or when you're practicing to feel like you are making progress directly. So a great drill you you can do is if you have a ball in the turf get a tee peg even if it's one of those small ones that are specific to par threes and put it about two inches in front of your ball don't tee it up put it two inches in front of the ball and then focus on hitting that tee have that tee be the low point of your golf swing if that tee is the low point of your golf swing that means you're still going to be coming down and through the ball after you make contact with it which is going to allow for a great deal of compression and another great thing about that compression is you're going to really get the ball in the grooves of the club when the ball gets in the grooves of the golf club that's how spin is created so especially with wedges is if you're really compressing the ball really nicely with wedges, you're making solid contact with the wedges, you're gonna get a lot of backspin. And that's very helpful for when you have front pins, you need to move the ball in from a, a few different directions. Once you really get your head around compressing the ball properly, you're going to love the way that it changes how you can maneuver your ball around the golf course. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. We read and reply to all comments on these videos. And if you enjoyed the video, if you left a like rating, that helps 
helps YouTube show this content to more people who will find it helpful. It also helps me see what type of content you guys are receptive to and what you're learning from. If you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to the Scratch Golf Tips YouTube channel. We're posting a few times a week and we're really stoked to see the growth in the channel. So we'd love for you to be a part of the future. As always, thank you very much for watching. Play well and take care.